I wanted to start off with a very awkward question to the audience. And that is, I would like to ask you to think in your mind who that is sitting here is in the United States on an immigrant visa and was born in the Middle East. There's one. Who thought it was me? There should be a lot of dialogue, I think, between these three Abrahamic <laughs> faiths, especially between the Muslims and the Christians and the Jews. The single greatest predictor of somebody's perception of Islam is whether they know a Muslim, right? Exposure is everything. Just think about the first time that you met somebody of a different faith or a different culture or a different race or from a different country, you name it. You're forced to move from the group to the person. The big question remains as to whether religion will play a negative or a positive role. Emerging generations everywhere are increasingly moving beyond race, beyond ethnicity, beyond culture, and to a certain extent even beyond institutional religion. The trend, especially in our country, is not pushing towards religion, it's pushing away from it. And so I think that when we tear each other down, we're not helping that trend. When we take the focus away from stereotyping driven by fear and back to God's hopeful mission to individual human beings in all their diversity, the global church can then reclaim its missional vision. I want to know you, I want to embrace you, but conversion is not the only option. Like, let's talk to each other, let's have a conversation. Every individual is a meeting ground for many different allegiances. The role of individuals with an allegiance to several cultures is to act as bridges, go-betweeners, mediators between the various communities and cultures. Don't hesitate to ask questions. Muslims don't mind people asking them questions. Why are you wearing that? You know, what's the idea of that? So tell me more. We love questions. In the realities of the 21st century, this will consist in the church embracing its position as a shrinking numeric minority, increasingly becoming a part of a silent majority made up of people who believe that their faith should be a source of love, tolerance, and embrace of others, rather than a source of violence, extremism, and exclusion. Just make that brave move and share that with someone else. And again, leave the rest to God or leave it all to God.